I'm glad you're back for part two of this beginner power flow. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with placing our blocks at the front of our mat. Um, again, if you don't have blocks, I have a link in the description box below. You can purchase some blocks there or you can grab like some books, anything that will help you, will support you in this practice. All right, all right, so we'll go ahead and first, We'll start just to warm up our spine. Extend your arms, fingertips forward, palms down. Relax your head and take a deep breath in and exhale, release. And just notice your breath, notice the inhale, notice the exhale. Allow the breath to flow easily and effortlessly. a good way to ground our energy to get into our bodies and into our breath. Now had you come up a little bit and just kind of move your hips side to side. Feel your hips. And just feel also your feet. You stretch out your ankles. But now we're gonna come into all fours, open up our chest. In the cow position, shoulders away from your neck, and exhale, round the back, drop the head. Inhale, open up your chest. Draw the navel in, get tailbone reaching back, sternum lifts, breastbone lifts forward. Exhale, round the spine. Good, inhale, open chest. Good, and exhale. Exhale, round the back, shoulder blades away from each other. You can even shift your weight front to back. Good, good. Feel the spine of vertebrae. Good, you're going to come back to center, open chest. Beautiful. You can just kind of move your hips side to side, with your navel into spine. And then go ahead and rotate fingers to the side. Shift your weight from one side to the next. And again, draw the navel in towards your spine. So belly button towards your spine. And engage the core. Then we're going to come back to center. We're going to go into a circle. We're going to take our hips with us. Hips forward, side, and back. Good, we're gonna go ahead and go the other way. Side, front, side, and back. Good, we're gonna come back to center. Rotate forearms to the front. One, two. Shoulders away from your neck. Shift your weight back. Feel the stretching forearms. Again, draw the navel in. Use your core. You can even move your hips side to side. Now, if it's hard to do this where forearms come front, you can just do one at a time right? Maybe your wrists are not that flexible. You can also just kind of go into a diagonal and just kind of move your hips front to back. So we just want to loosen up our wrists, right? At times we don't do that often, so it's good to give our wrists some tender love and care, TLC. All right, we're going to rotate fingertips back towards the front of the room. Now this is an option. You can either use your blocks Plant your palms onto the blocks, right? Or you don't have to use the blocks, whichever one, because we're going to go into our downward dog. You stretch out our legs. You're going to curl your toes under, right? You're going to shift your weight back. Extend the arms. Drop your head. Think chest towards the back of the room. Feel that stretch in your shoulders. Draw your navel in. Take a deep breath in and an exhale. Good. And go ahead and bend your knees. Walk your feet towards your hands, bent knees, bent knees. Feet hip distance apart. Grab your elbows, drop your head. Kind of move side to side. Feel the stretch in the back, in your spine. Come back to center, shake your head yes, and shake your head no. Drop your elbows, draw your elbows down. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and release your hands down. Slowly roll up head last, one vertebrae at a time. And then extend the arms. Overhead, palms together. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart center. 
Good, I'm gonna do that again. This time I'm gonna have you bring your blocks to the front. Good. Feet in between the blocks there. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Again, the blocks are here for your support. You don't have to use the blocks if you have um, flexibility where you can bring and reach your hands down, go for it. But if not, you can punch your palms onto the blocks, right? So you're gonna forward fold, drop your head, okay? Either one. Inhale, half fold, open up your chest. Good. Exhale, forward fold again, drop your head. And then slowly roll up head last, extend the arms overhead. Now you're gonna go ahead, extend the fingertips. You can interlace your fingers. Index fingers pointed up towards the ceiling. Draw your navel in. Extend the arms to the right. Hips to the left. Good. And stretch out the sides. Inhale, extend the fingertips up towards the ceiling. And extend all the way the hip um, fingertips to the left. Hips to the right. Open chest. Good. Come back to center. Fingertips to the back, hips forward, open chest, draw the navel in. Good, exhale, forward fold, reach for your toes. Now when I say reach for your toes, you wanna to bring your hands on the outsides of the feet if you can. If it's hard on your back of your legs, bend the knees, soft bend. Inhale, half fold, open chest, put hands on your shins or finger pods side of your feet. Exhale, bend your knees. We're going to go back into our downward dog. Draw the navel in. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, press back. So you can get your heels down towards the mat. Again, arms are straight. Keep pressing away from the mat with your palms. Bend your knees, look up. Good. And you're going to go ahead and walk your feet towards your hands. It can be either feet hip distance apart. Inhale, half fold, open up your chest, draw the navel in. Exhale, forward fold, drop your head. Release your hands down towards your feet, towards the ground. Good, and then slowly roll up, head last. Extend the arms overhead, take a deep breath in. Palms together, fingertips up and back, open chest. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. So we're gonna do that again, extend the arms. Take a deep breath in, fingertips back, hips forward. Exhale, forward fold, drop your head, hands towards the mat. Good, inhale, half fold, open chest, draw the navel in, tailbone reaching back, crown of head reaching forward, shoulders away from your neck. I know those are a lot of cues, but you'll soon get used to it. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees, palms down. Go into your downward dog. Again, you can always use the blocks, right? If it's hard for you to, you need some help, support. You can use the blocks. Take a deep breath in. Press away, chest towards the back. Good. Inhale through the nose and exhale. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Two more. Inhale through the nose and exhale. Good. Last one. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Good, bend your knees. Look up, walk your feet towards your hands. Inhale, half fold, open chest. Draw the navel in, so hands on your shins or on your blocks. Exhale, forward fold, drop your head, hands on the outsides of the feet. Inhale, slowly roll up, head last, extend the arms overhead, palms together. Fingertips up and back, open up your chest. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart space. Good. Now let's just warm up our body. It's very good. Okay, so this time today, in part one, we went over warrior one and warrior two. So today I'm gonna go over warrior three. So we're gonna first start off and just do some balancing, half to dasana. You need to go ahead, extend, lift your right leg. So you want you to feel your feet nice and grounded. Big toe mounds, small toe mound, which is right by your Pinky foot and extend the right leg, extend your arms overhead. So you can find your balance here. Good, take a deep breath in, extra credit, extend the foot, right? Good, and then bring your knee back in towards your chest and then we're gonna bring it down. Good, we're gonna do the other side just like that, okay? So a key is 
So you feel like a rubber band. You're extending through the crown, grounding through your feet, using your core to stabilize your hips, okay? So again, now we're gonna do the left leg. We're gonna lift the left foot, ground the right, extend, draw the navel in towards the rib cage, extend the arms overhead. Feel that nice deep stretch, extension through your sides, knee up. Now if extra credit, you can pull, push your heel forward. Try and straighten out the legs. It doesn't matter if it can't straighten out the legs all the way. Find your balance and then lift your knee up and bring your foot down. Ooh. Also another key point is to find a spot right in front of you, like a focal point, because that channels your energy and your focus, so then it'll help you keep your balance. Yep. All right, so we're gonna do that again. We're gonna incorporate the chair pose, Ukatasana. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'll have you have your feet hip distance apart. Extend the arms overhead, drop your hips back, and keep your inner arms in line with your ears. You don't wanna drop the chin too. Keep your chin lifted a bit. Look forward and down, because you don't wanna break the head like that. Keep your arms in line with your ears. Now look down to see if you see your toes, you should be able to see your toes. So that means if your knees are too far forward, you'll block your, from seeing your toes. Bring your hips back, knees back, so you can see your toes. Draw the navel in. This is a workout here. You feel it in your thighs and your hamstrings. Again, navel into spine, engage the core. Good, and then forward fold. Drop your head and your hands on the outsides of the feet. Good, inhale, half fold, open chest. Exhale, forward fold again. Good, this time we're gonna go back into that chair pose. Extend the arms overhead, draw the navel in. Good, navel into spine. Exhale, forward fold, drop your head. Inhale, half fold, open chest. Exhale, forward fold, drop your head again. Inhale, chair pose, extend the arms. Look down to see if you can see your toes. Navel into spine. Arms extended, fingertips up in that diagonal. Exhale, forward fold, drop your head. Inhale, half fold, open chest. Exhale, forward fold again, drop your head. Inhale, back into your chair pose. Last one, extend the arms, inner arms in line with your ears. Take a deep breath in, extra credit, lift your heels up so you can see your toes. Take a deep breath in, exhale, forward fold, drop your head. Inhale, half fold, open chest. Hands on your shins or on your blocks. Exhale, forward fold, drop your head. And then this time we're gonna go all the way up, extend the arms overhead, take a deep breath in, and exhale here. Good, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna seriously work on our warrior three. Those are just warm ups for your legs and your core. All right, we're gonna start with the right foot forward, left foot back. Okay, so the key is back foot's important. You wanna properly do your crescent lunge. You wanna be on the ball of the back foot, lifting the heel, extend through the leg. Now, the front foot, the right foot's in front, right? Knee on top of the ankle. Now, this is where you square the hips all the way to the front. Frontal hip bones facing forward. Extend the arms during your crescent lunge. Yep, so this is a balancing act here, right? Just hug your hips in. Good. And just hold this for five. Good. And bend the knee. Four. Good. Three. Two. Make sure you breathe. Inhale, exhale, one. Bring your back foot to meet your front foot. Extend the arms into mountain or Astasana. Exhale. Good. We're going to do the other side. Okay, same thing. Left foot forward, right foot back. Square the hips. Okay, now another thing. You don't want to be on a tight rope where your feet is right in front of each other like that in a line. You can bring that back foot off to the side a little bit so you have more of a balance. Okay, again, extend that right, right foot heel back and then lift the kneecap of that right leg. Bend the left knee on top of the ankle. Square the hips, hug the hips in, extend the arms. Hold for five, inhale, exhale. Hold for four, good. 
Hold for three. Hold for two. Yeah, if you want to go back a little bit more, hold for one. Good. Bring your back foot to meet your front foot. Extend the arms into Urva Hastasana, Mountain Pose. Draw your navel in. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Good. Okay. So that's our crescent lunge. Okay. We're going to go back into our right foot. We're going to bring the blocks back a little bit so you can see me. I'm going to be off camera. So you're going to right foot forward. We're going to work on going from our crescent lunge into our warrior three with our hands on the blocks. So we're going to start off that way. Okay, so crescent lunge on our right side. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring our palms onto our blocks. Keep that back leg straight, extend. Now we're gonna go ahead and move the blocks forward in front of our right foot, just a little bit right in front of our right foot. Now you're gonna cap the pole off the back foot. <laughs> Lift, open up your chest, straighten out the arms. Find your balance here. Good, draw the navel in, lift your chest. Now you're gonna bend that standing leg, come back onto the ball of the back foot, the left, yep. And try that again, lift up, extend. Open chest, squeeze your glutes, hug the hips in, and then bend that front knee, come back onto the ball of that back foot. You're gonna do that again, extend. Find your balance, open chest, straighten out the arms. Draw the navel in, and then bend that front knee, come back onto the ball of that back foot. One more time, extend. Open chest, draw the navel in. And then bend that front knee, come back. This time you extend the arms overhead. Take a deep breath in, find your balance. Exhale here. Now we're gonna take an inhale, open and extend. Exhale, forward fold, plant your palms into the block. Lift that back leg up, extend the legs, both legs, draw the navel in, hug the hips in. Bend that standing leg. Come back onto the ball of that left foot. Extend the arms overhead. Draw the navel in. Good, two more times. Exhale, palms onto the block. Extend the back leg straight, toes extended. Standing leg extend, squeeze your glutes. Hug the hips in. Come back, bend that front leg. Come on the ball of the back foot, extend. Last one, exhale, extend. Now see if you can imbalance and take your palms off the blocks. That is optional. Come back, bring your hands back onto the blocks. Bend that front knee. Come on into the ball of that back foot. Extend. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and bring your back foot to meet your front foot. Extend your arms overhead. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. How'd that go? <laughs> now it looks easier than Right? It looks easy when you actually do it. You're like, oh my gosh, it's harder than I thought. It requires a lot of alignment, balance, and using your core to stabilize so you can easily transition from one, from the crescent, all the way to the warrior three. It's a little practice. And you'll start to become used to it. Your body will start to master the movement. All right, so now we're gonna do the other side, right? Here we go, extend the arms overhead, take a deep breath in. This time you're just gonna exhale, bring your palms down, and then lift off the back foot. Yep. All right, I'm gonna come here. Yeah. And then go back, bend that standing leg, and, and plant your ball of your right foot back onto the mat. Extend that leg, draw the navel in, lift. Straighten out the arms, open up your chest, shoulders away from your neck, come back down and lift, squeeze your glutes, and bend the front knee, come back down to the ball of that back foot, and lift, open chest, draw the navel in, hug the hips in, bend that standing leg, come back down. This time, extend, open chest, extend, draw the navel in, bend that front knee, come up to the ball of that foot, extend your arms overhead, draw the navel in, good. Exhale, punch your palms onto the block. Extend, push off the back foot. Open chest, toes, right toes reaching back, crown the head reaching forward. Bend that front knee, come up to the ball of that back foot. Extend the arms overhead, draw the navel in. Exhale, palm down, extend. Open chest, hug the hips in, draw the navel in. Bend that front knee, extend. Good, last one. Exhale, palms onto the block. Extend that back leg, draw the navel in. 
Good. Bend that front knee. Come back into your crescent lunge. Bring your back foot to meet your front foot. Extend those fingertips up. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Good. You did that. <laughs> all righty. So that's all we're gonna work on for today. Yep, I'm giving you guys little tiny doses. So then you know, we'll take one step at a time. So start to work on each pose one by one, right? So you can start to fill in the pose for yourself. So you can start to feel more comfortable and confident in the poses. All right, so now we're gonna do our seated poses. You're gonna bring your right foot in the inside of your left thigh. Heel in towards your pelvis as much as you can. Extend the toes up towards the ceiling, okay? I brought out the belt because if you have really tight hamstrings, for instance, if you extend your arms and reach forward and you're like, oh shoot, you can use your strap, place it midfoot, extend, open up through the spine, one hand in front of the other, okay? So this is where the yoga strap comes into, comes in uh, handy or helpful. It helps you keep your alignment, but also support you in becoming more flexible because you can start to pull yourself forward, right? Instead of struggling and getting out of alignment, okay? Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, next one. Straighten out the arms, pull in as much as you can, okay? Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Ocean breath, good. Inhale through the nose and exhale. One more, inhale through the nose and exhale. Good, gonna straighten out the arms, open chest. Good, and we're gonna go ahead, release. We're gonna do the other side, yeah. So just breaking down all the movements, one by one. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead, left foot inside the thigh, toes lifting up, extend through the spine, and extend the arms overhead. Reach, if you can't reach for your feet, interlace your fingers behind you, or grab onto your right wrist. Is it right wrist? I think so, yeah. Good, take a deep breath in, open chest, exhale, chest towards your thigh, head towards your shin, okay? Again, you can use the strap. Open chest, one and two. Good, hold and breathe. Extend through the heel, heel forward, toes back. Yep, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Mm -hmm. Inhale, make sure you use your breath, exhale. Get two more, deep inhale, and deep exhale. Last one, inhale through the nose, and exhale, reach. Good, inhale, lift, and then exhale, release. Good, bring your knee in. Another thing to note, I totally forgot, you can you do this next time. If your hips are really tight, you can place the block underneath your knee as you reach forward, yeah? Okay, another thing to note. Sorry, I forgot to add that in. I would edit this, but it's all right. You'll survive. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. That's beautiful. Come on to our backs. Feel your spine, bring your knees in. Hug your knees in. Just kind of move side to side. Feel the lower back. Feel your head heavy. You can even move your head from right to left. Good. And you're gonna extend your arms out to the sun, into a T-shape. Move your knees to the right and keep your shoulders down. Now, if this is very hard, because I know sometimes shoulders could be um, an issue, okay, where you're unable to get your arm all the way down, it's okay. You can also use a block to put underneath your shoulder if you have shoulder issues, good. And then you go and go to the other side. Again, you take the block, because you can really see me on that side. What I did is I put the block underneath my shoulder. Good, so you can open up your chest and kind of move your arm out to the side so you can get a nice deep stretch there, right? You can support, use your block as support, and place your shoulder on top of the block there. 
kind of move your shoulder from side to side. Yeah? Awesome. If not, you can extend the arm and relax your shoulders down. Keep your chest nice and open. Open space. Have space, right? You want to have space into your body. And breathe. You gotta come back to center. Plant your knee. Bring your knees back in. Okay? Very good. Take a deep breath in and exhale there. Good. Then go ahead and bring our feet down. Plant your palms, roll your shoulder blades in. Keep your heels in towards you and then extend your hips up and back, open chest. Good, shoulder heads down, keep your head grounded. If you can extend your hands, fingertips up towards the ceiling, slowly come down one vertebrae at a time, tailbone last. Good. Inhale, peel your spine off the mat, lift your hips up and back, squeeze your glutes, draw your navel in. And then slowly come down one vertebrae at a time, tailbone last. Good. Last one, peel your spine off the mat, lift your hips up and back, squeeze your glutes, draw the navel in. And then slowly come down one vertebrae at a time, tailbone last. Good. Knees in towards your chest, take a deep breath in and then let it all go, cleansing breath. <sighs> Good, all right, into Shavasana we go. Um, you can keep your feet uh, planted down with bent knee and extend palms facing ceiling, or you can extend the legs out. Ooh. Good, nice, nice Shavasana. And allow your body to melt down onto the mat, just feel your whole body softening, releasing, onto your mat, relaxing your jaw, your mouth, unclench your glutes, relax your forehead, your eyebrows, your eyelids, and just find your breath, notice your breathing, and just follow your inhale and your exhale. Now you're just gonna go ahead and wiggle your fingers and your toes. Extend your arms overhead. Give yourself a nice big stretch. You're gonna roll onto your right side as if you're getting out of your bed. You can get that circulation back into your body. Yeah. Good. You're gonna slowly roll yourself up. Usually in Shavasana, you want to hold it for more than two minutes. So if you want to stay there, you can. But this is concluding our practice for the day. I, ho I hope this brought some value into your practice. Keep practicing. And I'll see you in the next video. And have a good rest of your day. Bye.